What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Link to the Past. Today, let's continue making our way through the water dungeon place. I should really figure out what the proper name of this place is. But I just can't be bothered. Smooth Link. Now then, uh, right, okay. Just trying to remember where exactly we left off. Get up here. And we come up to this above floor. Uh, with the two different places to fall down. Uh, let's go over here first. Even though we lowered the block thingies on the other side. That was completely not worth the time. Okay. Let's try that again then, shall we? Wherever these pots are building. No such luck. Okay down here, and this time we can actually do something on this side of the gap. What do we got over here? Money! And... the big key! Well, I know somewhere where that's gonna come in handy. Oh, let's return to the central room now. I hate the water. Getting up and down ladders is so imprecise in this game when you're swimming. Mind the big legs. So, what do we got in here? Shot. Boing! Now then, we can use this little contraption to grapple across things. It can also be used as a fairly effective ranged weapon against some enemies. Hey look, a key. Okay, that was a bad example. Anyways, we can use it to grapple over to these chests and use the key that we just found. I like using the hookshot on these things just because you can hit them whether they're electrified or not. Okay, there's a pressure switch there, so let's push the statue on top of it. What do we got in here? Of course, when the jellyfish gets small, they can be kind of hard to aim at. Especially when you're pointing the wrong direction. This other room. It's down here. Nothing yet. I guess I should have gone to the right side first. The more you know. Now then, it's over here. Go down these stairs and clearly that was once again the wrong choice okay 
I got it this time. I got it. It's all good. Kill you for the third time. Push that pressure plate. That opens the door over here as well. Go down there, and we're on the right. Ah. And we, from this side, we can push this little... I don't know what you'd call it. It's not quite a switch. Uh, let's take a quick look at the map. That wasn't very helpful. Um, before I go down that little hole I just opened up, I want to take a look over on the right side again. Down here. The thingamadoodles are is drained from here too, so let's see what we got here. Some rupees and some hearts. Always a welcome addition to the team. Oh, okay, so that just leads there. Then we should probably go up this way, huh? Not a whole lot. But we can see that there's another room over there. There's another... Bleh. But there was no door in the other room, so how do we get over there? Let's just try walking through the water. Lots of hearts. That's always a good thing. And the worst room in existence. These guys walk on the water. We gotta try and hop up these ladders while simultaneously fighting the current. And of course, you can't go up the ladder unless you're perfectly square with it. So you have to fight the current and dodge the big legs all at the same time. Okay. I made that look way too easy. I've like literally spent like 20 minutes trying to get up that before. And um, here we have the boss. I believe his name is Agron. And all we really gotta do here, besides not getting hit by that, hookshot the little balls. And kill him. enough here. Eventually, he will run out of little... I, I want to call them balls, but they look more like clouds. And of course, the less of them he has, the harder it is to actually catch one with the hook shot. Well, and there's none left, he'll jump up and start dashing around madly. But whenever you hit him, he'll just jump back up. 
just use your spinny attack and make sure he doesn't draw up on top of you and should be no problem. Easy boss. And another princess and a crystal. How they fit in those crystals, I'm not really sure. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, we've heard all this before. Yes, Ganondorf is evil. I think we've established this. We can go between the two worlds? I've never done that before. Yes, quit your rambling. That's my job. And we're done with dungeon number two. Now that we're done there, unfortunately there isn't really a whole lot to do before the next dungeon. Uh, because, well, we've done most of the stuff that the hookshot gives you access to. There's one piece of heart that we could get, but it is very far out of the way. So I'm not going to bother with it until we're actually headed that way. So what we want to do is come over here. And if we head up here... Yay hearts. Um, over here... To where the bridge is in the light world. Now... Uh, to get to this kind of area north of the Pyramid of Power, normally you would have to use your hookshot and, uh, zoom across here, but because we did that little trick where we find the warp tile and the lost woods, we've already been over there, so there's nothing left over there for us to do. Well, no, not nothing, but uh, just that one piece of heart that I mentioned. But the reason I'm here is because... Actually, before we do that... I want to eat that fairy just because, and let that fairy go. I want to come here to the potion shop. And I'm gonna dump all my rupees on some blue potion. Expensive stuff, but I have a feeling that we are going to need it. I'm just going to say right now, I absolutely despise the next dungeon, especially its boss. Just got to get that out of the way. So let's go do it! Hee <laughs> hee! Actually, we should probably hookshot over here. Head on over here. We want to head to where Kakariko Village is in the light world. Although in the dark world it's called the Village of Outcasts. And more specifically, we want to come in here into the Lost Worlds. Oh boy, this is going to be 
interesting stuff. But I'm gonna leave it here for today so I can take some time to gather my strength. Catch you next time on Let's Play Link to the Past.